turret online. Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the best graphic settings and recommend you to uninstall Warzone from Steam and install it on Battle.net because that's how I fixed my crazy game stuttering. I was going crazy literally and I gained like 30 to 50 FPS on Battle.net. So yeah, stay with me. First I will show you uh, Steam. FPS, it's only around 90 and a little above 100, and it's so stuttery. I will also turn around and show you my settings that all the settings are the same on Steam and on Battle.net. There we go, my Steam settings. Literally everything is the same. And I still lose so much on Steam and the game feels terrible. And this is my Battle.net game. Also, all the settings are the same. I will show it soon. We've got a same turret online. Look at the FPS, it's insane. And this is my Battle.net settings. So after we close the game, we will want to go to the Steam, right click on Call of Duty, Manage, Uninstall. I will keep mine just to test in the future. You will uninstall the game, then you will go to My Documents and remove this Call of Duty folder here. Totally remove it. And then you will also want to remove all that from Recycle Bin. Before installing, you will want to go to Modify the Style. Modify Install again. And then you just need Orzon. You don't need any other. Because it will just take up your space on PC. If you don't use it, it's pointless. Now it's free trial for 5 days. The multiplayer and zombies so just install warzone and after you installed it i would recommend you to do nvidia settings that i will show you and game folder settings and to go into battle.net in game folder settings you need to press options show explorer this is your game settings from Battle.net. This is the Call of Duty. You go to Retail. Code 24. Better Cash. And you want to select everything by pressing Ctrl A and just delete. Delete everything. After you deleted it, you want to delete it from Recycle Bin too. And now I will show you NVIDIA settings. It's secret setting for better visibility. Now we are going to 
game file settings which is in my documents call of duty players and then we open s.1.0.code24.txt when we open that we will press ctrl f first let's do the corpse press enter maximum number of corpses set to zero let me search for blood limit blood effects set to true when limiting blood effects set to 2000 then we go a little bit down on show blood effects set it to false and also weapon reject brass set it to false now we are searching for reflection reflection probe set to 1 clip map one word set it to 0 upload heaps so I will explain this one uh, how we tested the in-game latency boost or if you are GPU bound or CPU bound so if you are GPU bound you set this to true and if you are CPU bound you set this to false now we search for cat mole cat mole we set cat mole on zero and now we search for one very important renderer this is your cpu setting and you always need to put minus one of how many performance score your cpu has and to check that you need to press control alt delete on your keyboard open task manager go performance and here is your CPU and you should see here your performance scores which for me is 8 I set this to 7 minus 1 always or you can search for your CPU cores online and see how much you have and now we are doing nvidia control panel settings you will press right click show more options nvidia control panel manage 3d settings global settings and just copy those settings that i have here Texture filtering, I like to have it on quality for when I record videos so it looks better, but you can set it to high performance. It should gain you a few FPS. Then we go to change resolution. Be sure to put your screen on the highest refresh rate, because some people have very good monitors and they forgot to take the highest refresh rate you will set use nvidia color settings and output dynamic range you will set to full apply now adjust desktop color settings 
you can you can crank up this on how much you like i like to have it on 70 it gives very good sharpness in game and colors you can play with all those settings here depends how your eyes like it apply this then we go to adjust video color settings choose with the nvidia settings also on full now when we set up this i will show you one secret nvidia setting don't forget to apply when we did all this now you will want to open your nvidia control panel again Go to manage 3D settings, program settings. And here you will want to add your Call of Duty game, which I already did. It should be here in recently used programs. Or you can just browse and find your game and just add it here. And image sharpening this is the hidden nvidia setting that we unlocked you want to turn it on and crank it up up to 70 80 i like it on 80 the most more than 80 it's too much for me too much sharpness and we press ok apply and what we really want to do now is to remove all the shredders i already showed it at the beginning but I'll, i will show it again we want to remove all the shredders from the game so we go settings go in explorer this is battle.net game files retail Code 24, better cache, and we will remove everything here by selecting everything and deleting. After you removed it, I won't do it because I already did that. You will remove it from recycle bin too. And then you will start the game, and the game will reinstall your shaders, your new shaders. This is very important step. So yeah, that's full step by step how to gain more FPS and to fix the stuttering on Steam. We need to play on Battle.net right now, sadly, but I will update you in the future if they fix it. So yeah, good luck, have fun, and see you around. Peace.